Hey! <laughs> Welcome to the Alpha Wiser Tavern. First uh, heads up, this will have uh, mature themes and uh, mature language. So viewer's discretion is advised and you've been warned. <laughs> We're going to be playing in a, a world I like to call Caljurnia. I'm using lore from Forgotten Realms. It's pretty much every campaign setting has come to sit down at the table. They come to Caljurnia to party. So you're getting a taste of everything. Uh, yeah, say your names and who you're going to uh, be playing. Uh, ben McPherson. You're the tallest. I'm so. playing <laughs> a human artificer. I'm Garrett Huff and uh, I will be playing a gnome artificer. And, uh, I'm Sean. I'm going to be playing a uh, Blood Hunter from Matt Mercer, creation, uh, human. I'm Cody McLeod, and I'm going to be playing a human monk. A cell phone, actually. A human yeah, cell playing phone. a cell phone. <laughs> uh, the mass continent of Caljurnia. Long ago, the landscape much different uh, than it is today. Today, civilizations have found these places of power, um, and they have uh, built up cities around them, uh, some good, some bad. Uh, but what uh, these actual places of power are, are uh, surrounded heavily in secrecy and uh, wrapped in rumors and mystery. Uh, once believed that these sources of power were limitless, uh, the people are now understanding that they are wrong. Uh, rumors are surfacing uh, that some locations of power are beginning to dwindle. Where this adventure will be starting off is in the province of Aberth. It was founded by adventurers who inherited the lands with the spoils of their journey. The legendary adventurers are born and bred in these lands, trained by the best in the business. Other provinces seek out aid for Amabreth constantly, uh, which in turn has made great allies or alliances. To attack the uh, province of Aberth is a death wish. Many have tried and have met the wrath of the Quiver and its current leader, Nova Helt. The third. Currently, the province of Aberth is looking to create several special groups of adventurers simply called the Arrows of the Quiver. These groups will travel and help Aberth allies in other provinces to make sure places of power don't extinguish. Six months have passed since your uh, adventure in Pious Lake. Graf stayed behind to help out Veronica and Naaman uh, to help with chores and to uh, pay off the debt of a, uh, a broken canoe. A lost canoe, I should say. His uh, comrades, uh, Kane and uh, Raquel, have headed to the, or have already headed to the city of Aberth. They've reported what has happened, um, and they have now been granted a watcher. Um, your watcher is Vincent Croft. He has joined up with you guys uh, for your next task. He says that you guys can meet on the uh, leader's uh, road uh, at the crossroads. Okay. Um, and from there, you guys will go seek out what the next mission is. Graf actually has a, a visitor that has shown up at uh, Veronica's Villas. Uh, lo and behold, through the uh, log cabins uh, sitting, it is now uh, in the beginning of summer. Um, so uh, leaves in full bloom. If you remember, there was birch trees and pine um, surrounding this lake area. So as you step out onto the front porch, you see a familiar face. And uh, now the camera will, the picture if you will, the camera kind of pans down onto you. Zuck Fizzlebrin. Hey Graf, how's it going? <coughs> what are what are you doing here? Oh, you know, I just had to tie up some loose ends. Our little hospital that we have going on is doing well. Mm -hmm. I left Thundarius in charge. And uh, I took my leave to come join you. Did your parents ever show back up? I could not find them. Is that why you're out here? Yes. Are you headed that way? Yes. Might as well join me. Sounds great. Let's head there. All right, let's go. <laughs> I guess you could <laughs> yeah. ride with me on my horse. That's yes, you still have a horse left yeah. from last time. <laughs> Perfect. Kane and Raquel, uh, you guys would be setting out on steeds as well with... Um, Vincent uh, riding behind you. From the look of it, when you were appointed this guy, you, you'd you probably sense that he's something to do with tracking or some type of ranger. He does have an eye patch that goes over his uh, right eye. After riding for uh, probably about a day and a half's travel, uh, you guys get to the leader's crossroad, and there you see two familiar faces. Uh, no, sorry, only one, one familiar yeah. face uh, carrying uh, what seems to be a small child or a small... Uh, humanoid figure uh, riding in front on the horse. No, you're, you're, sitting, you're, sitting, you're, you're sitting, sitting in, in his lap. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I'm like the child. Yeah, good, I'm, I'm good holding on the reins. <laughs> Jeez, it's good to see you guys. Is that your son? Son? What? He's my friend. Yeah. I mean, he could pass as your son, just <laughs> looking at him. This is uh, my friend, Zuck. Um, we, oh. we grew up together, actually. Oh. It, how, how filthy does... <laughs> How filthy does he look? I'm filthy. <laughs> <laughs> I just kind of like look at him. Yes, well met. Kane, be polite. Say hello. 
Yes, I said hello. <laughs> I didn't want to shake his hand, though. Our Did debt. you finish your business at Farmer? Our, our debt was paid. They, they ended up getting another canoe. So what um, did you have to do to pay back the debt for that canoe? I uh, just helped out with the hunting and trapping and cleaning how's, and just uh, basic maintenance. How's the old man doing? Uh, as good as leg actually did heal up, but it, it did leave a scar. But Did it anything was... come of it? That no, he seemed black, to... veiny stuff? Other than uh, a scar uh, a scar on him, that's about all I've really noticed. This is Watcher Vincent Croft. Oh. Greetings. And... Uh, how do you know my friends? He's our watcher. Oh, so you guys went. And, you guys yes. saw the quiver. Okay. Yes, we went back and they Graph. pointed him to. You'll never believe it. We're looking for another cartographer. Again. What happened in the first one? Well, he met an untimely demise. It is unfortunate, it's... but it is rumors are true. Cartographers are actually being hunted down. Aberth has been a pretty quiet place for the last five years or so, but just. In the last year, we've lost about three photographers. I'm just here to observe and see how you guys complete objectives uh, and not uh, let your greed get the best of you. If you want to be part of the quiver, you do what the job is asked for and you don't bargain for any more. Sounds fair enough. Yes, yeah, that's fair. As you know, Aberth <laughs> is a pretty, uh, a pretty safe area. Uh, not many uh, uh, foul beasts or anything roam uh, these lands. In the last year, it seems that some enemies or people are getting a little bit more confident or just incredibly stupid. But yes, we are looking for Vex Swiller. From uh, our information that we've gathered, uh, we believe a group of bandits has uh, kidnapped this cartographer and has taken him down to the Bay of Palms. It'll be a day's travel. Uh, once we get there, if it is the right place, uh, I will uh, stay back. You guys can assess whatever situation is presented in front of you, um, and you go at it as you see fit. Just a little note, uh, I know some adventurers like to uh, get all cutthroat and kill everyone and just take the spoils of battle, but one thing I've learned, it's usually a good idea to keep at least one of them alive. Usually the smallest one, or if, you're, if you think you're strong enough. Take the biggest guy down. He usually knows the most. So are we getting graded on this? Can you explain <laughs> the process of how you watch us? Watchers is a, a title you get given once you uh, kind of want to take a break from the adventuring and you get to sit back and uh, enjoy the entertainment of uh, greenhorns such as yourselves trying to do some of the most simplest or mundane tasks. It's uh, quite amusing. But yes, I will be grading you on this. Is it like a 1 through 10 or a 1 in 5? I have my own process. Oh, all right. Letter, it usually letter involves grade system, like, perhaps. It usually enough. involves some little <laughs> diagrams, some uh, little smiley faces, and uh, a couple other uh, little smiley diagrams. Faces. Yes, yes. You see him kind of take a quick little notebook, oh, write something down. Travel for about a day. Um, you go through the... Uh, the grass hills of Avarith, knowing as the rolling rock grasslands. Since you guys are all your cities uh, and your homesteads, uh, as well as your monastery uh, for the month, they're, they're all kind of bordering um, the lands of Aberth, so you guys know a little bit about the place. Even though it is grasslands, uh, summer, the grass is uh, pretty long. You can see some trees off, off in the distance from uh, Pious Woods that you guys are kind of uh, going south from. Graph, uh, what catches your eyes, you actually see kind of a rock rolling on an incline, and it's a boulder. It's pretty long. Um, and then a couple other little boulders behind it, uh, rolling up. Did you guys <laughs> see those? See what? Those boulders. Vincent? What yeah, that's all right. Uh, it's not usually you get to see them, uh, doing their migration. Uh, they seem to be a little late this season. What are uh, they? but they like to get, uh, more sun as, uh, this, as the summer hits. And the grasslands get kind of, uh, nice and warm. They like to tan their kind of raw slate, uh, skins. What are they? They are uh, Galib Dura. They look like. Ba -ba -da -da. So every now and then you can like kind of see them as they roll. You can see this big like arm, and then just if you get closer in their path, they'll either squish you or they'll try to beat you. Okay, well let's stay clear of that. Uh, so as you guys ride uh, throughout uh, majority of the day, uh, nightfall is starting to. Uh, uh, set upon you guys. Are you the type to uh, 
tread through the night, or do you want to set up camp? No, I think we will set up camp. Probably the better option, yeah. Yes. I like my beauty sleep. How many more days of travel until we arrive? We'll be there probably by... <laughs> he said one day! Oh. God! <laughs> <laughs> by late afternoon. <laughs> Work out. Good, good. What I would like to offer to take first watch, then. I would like to just kind of do a kind of a patrol around the camp. Your skin kind of gets goosebumps. Your hair kind of stands on end for se- uh, mm-hmm. for a moment, and you just get a, like a like a light breeze, like a, a chill, familiar like just kind of a ooh, something mm. kind of walked over your grave. <laughs> um, but you kind <laughs> of ponder off and further uh, back away from you guys from the direction you guys came. Kind of hear a mm. and then you kind of see two glowing orbs. And then another and set, then and another set, and then it kind of... I would just like to wait a, a s- small period of time just to see if I can see them moving closer. So you wait a moment. Yeah. You wait another moment as they've disappeared out of your vision. Um, okay, I'd like to um, retreat then. Retreat? Yeah. So I'm going to wake up Raquel. I nudge him and I say, I've seen some some beady eyes, that small orbs. I believe them. I think they howled at me. That doesn't sound good. No, it doesn't. Should we wake the others? I'll leave Graf, uh, yeah, Graf sleeping, I'll wake up just, uh, Zuck. <laughs> I just kind of, like, <laughs> nudge him with my boot, and, like, <laughs> Zuck, Zuck, what? you're the only one who can see in the dark, I need your assistance. <sighs> as you walk away from the fire, the familiar, uh, uh, vision takes hold as, all of a sudden, the grass around you goes from this green, uh, with this orange, uh, cascade across it, goes to more or less gray, um, the sky itself goes to a black. Even the moon itself is now just a bright white. You don't see nothing. I don't see anything. Hmm. Are you <laughs> sure you saw something? Yeah, I, I do believe I did. <laughs> Let's go back to the camp then. All right, who wants to take next watch? I will go and wake up uh, uh, Raquel next. And I will crawl in next to Zuck. But I will be curled up in a little ball away from Zuck. Uh, Both of you kind of pushing up me? against the tent. Don't uh, you have your own you? tent? <laughs> No, there's only... T- he gave you... I gave him my tent. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure you, you have, have your tents. own tent. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, I get out um, actually, and go I don't even think tent. I got your As name. You walk by, What's your name? Just with your passive, you see someone sitting there writing <laughs> in a did. journal. Watch as you don't, go I, I, just, I just lay down the tent and I just hear like the, the pencil scratch. And I like, cool. don't write that down. <laughs> Cal, you're on your next watch. Anything you'd like to do, or you just gotta kind of no, sit where just, you are? I just hang out, doing some air punches. <laughs> Your watch passes, no eventful, no other signs of any animals around, uh, no other sounds kind of here, just the wind kind of blowing through the grass, and very peaceful. I wake up Graf. You know, okay, he's Graf. been resting. Uh, is, it, is it my turn now? No, nah, you can take till morning. You missed some excitement. Mm-hmm. Oh, what happened? <laughs> Which, oh. Is there anything I should look out for? <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, Kane thought he saw wolves. Oh, but that, right. Zuck said we didn't. I. That sounds like Zuck. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> in the night, uh, as the morning is slowly coming, something catches your eye in the sky. Very far, far up in the sky. Um, it almost looks like a large manta ray of just blackness is just floating through the sky. They almost look like a blanket mm-hmm. blowing in the wind. Mm-hmm. It doesn't look like they're going to go over Aberth, but mm-hmm. it looks like they're going to fly pretty close. To pretty it. close. Yeah. <clears throat> is Vincent? And they're heading to north. Vincent's sitting there, and he looks like he's awake, mm-hmm. except his eye patch is on the different eye now. And you can just see this one eye, like, staring. I'm going to make uh, some noise, maybe just, like, pull my crossbow back. As soon as you do, like, the, the yeah. loading motion of yeah. a crossbow, yeah. like, immediately, like, eye yeah. patch onto the other eye. Um, kind of looks at you for a second. I just, I'm just going to point up into the sky. I've never seen anything like that. <laughs> I've never seen anything like that either. A um, little troubling, but... Mm, something to note anyway. I pull out my notebook. <laughs> <laughs> right might down. Be a large, <laughs> it might, might, be a, might be a good omen or bad. See him, t- see him, see him take a little himself. note real quick and then he kind of smirks to himself and he looks at you and like looks at your loaded yeah. gun. And I'll, like, I'll unload it. It yeah. was kind of a little nod and Damn you it. write something. <laughs> oh, the head nod. I don't know if you can tell how the quill is going, but it yeah. almost looks like a circle and then he does like a half circle. And <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I'll, I'll, I'll keep an eye on it there if you want to get uh, more rest. Yeah.